through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given us another day in our life. And this day has been granted to us as a gift of the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal so that we can do those things which are beloved to the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal. And by doing those actions, we get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu anhuma narrates that Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-Muslim, a believer, a person who has submitted himself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is his definition? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-Muslimu man salim al-Muslimuna min lisanihi wa yadi. والمهاجر من هجر ما نهى الله عنه أخذ البخاري في الصحيح. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said a definition of a Muslim is the one that from his tongue and his hand other Muslims are safe. Meaning he is not abusive by his tongue or physical abuse or any type of verbal abuse. So this is a definition that has been given to us by Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم about a believer. That a believer is that individual that he protects his tongue and he protects his hand by harming anyone that is around him. And that's how Islam is exposed. Because Islam is consists of two things. Number one is Iman, the other one is Islam. Iman is something that is found in your heart and that is making, that is provoking you to do good actions. Islam is something that is shown to other people. <laughs> Islam is something that is shown by your action to other individuals. So your Islam can only be best if you are controlling two things that Allah has given you. Number one is your speech. The way you talk to people. You communicate with individuals. What type of statement you exchange what type of verbiage you exchange with individual at the time of talking. We have to be very careful in how we use our words. Sometimes when the usage is not appropriate, even good things can turn into bad things. And when the usage is appropriate and a person does not become offended by our talks. So that is very important. A lot of times a person thinks, oh, okay, you know, who cares what he thinks? I just have to deliver myself. Who cares how he feels? No. It is our responsibility that as we make sure that we try to convey the right thing to other individuals as our responsibility, it is equally our responsibility that our delivery method should be in such a way that a person does not get offended. His heart is not broken. He's not abused in any way. He's not degraded in any way. He's not humiliated in any way. This is, uh, this is also our responsibility. And then similarly, by our own physical behavior. We physically do something that others are uh, harmed. Others are feeling difficult by our way of doing things. So this is a definition that Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam has given regarding a believer. A Muslim is that person by his tongue and his hand, others, other Muslims are safe. And the second thing that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in, in this hadith is, is a muhajir, an immigrant, a person who migrates. Who is this person? Al-muhajiru man hajaru ma nahallahu an. Muhajir is the one that migrates from disobedience of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So on one side, becoming the best of believers is by doing by controlling your hands and your tongue, and on the other side, having the ability or having the rank of a muhajir, by leaving things that are forbidden, things that Allah has told us not to go near. Because when a person goes near those things which Allah has forbid, then iman increases, and that has a reflection on his behavior. So his action towards other individuals also become bad, because his connection with Allah is not good. So when a person develops his connection, a lot of times the best way, the best thermometer that a person has is his behavior with other individual. His, this is a reflection of his action, his ibadat between him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
If this is good, then others. Man aslaha ma baynahu wa bayn Allah, aslaha Allahu baynahu wa bayn abdi. The Rasulullah said, who has figured out the relationship between him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah takes care of the relationship between him and other people. So let's try to work on that as believers, collectively, that how can we become the best that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has described and Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has described. May Allah grant us the understanding and the ability to practice. Jazakumullahu khayran. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Wa nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.